Uh, our farm is basically, we're just north of Highway 15 in the Yorkton area. So basically just about straight over. So longitudinal, we're, we're about the same. So we get about the same amount of day length. Uh, this variety is also up in bigger. It's uh, actually going to look at a plot of it in Bonneville. Uh, there's a field in Edmonton. So these, these varieties, because they're daylight sensitive, we can move them north. Uh, we have a field up in the Paw, Manitoba. So we are pushing them to see how far north we can go. Uh, Carrot River, the guys successfully grew some the last two years. So it, it's really neat on, especially when you talk about to the Americans and they start saying, well, where are you from? And we say Saskatchewan and their eyes get big. What do you mean soybeans? You can't grow soybeans there. And I said, Shh, don't tell them. They don't know where they are yet. Weed control is very crucial because as someone that's been growing soybeans for three years, for the for usually in June, the if the first time growers, you usually are you looking to find the guy that talked me into growing soybeans because I'm going to kick his butt because they're slow growing, they don't canopy, they're slow coming out of the ground, they're just, they're sluggish. Then all of a sudden when the heat comes and if you have some moisture, boom, it takes off. <laughs> so then we started finding some varieties that what they were talking about was daylight sensitive varieties. What daylight sensitive means is as the days get longer, the plant responds by needing less heat units. What we found was a, a variety from Legend Seeds, LS0036, that we started to grow. And as we moved it north, like when we met uh, the, uh, the owner of, of Quarry Seeds out of Stonewall, Manitoba, when we were talking to them, they were saying about this daylight sensitivity. And what that means is as when they first brought this variety up into, into the Carmen area, in Carmen, they said, I'll never make it because you need 2450 for, co for corn heat units. Guess what? They made it. The next year they moved them up to Portage and they said that the experts said they'd never make it. Guess what? They actually made it and were a couple days earlier than down in, in the Carmen area. Then they took them, grew them just north of Winnipeg. They said they'd never make it. They did. They moved them up to Arberg, which is just about straight east interlake in Manitoba. They still made it and they ended up being about five days earlier than the ones down in Carmen. So this is where this daylight sensitivity was first identified. So Ne the next variety that came out was LS0028, and the, the way the naming is, for the Legend Seeds, they have LS as the first two letters of their, of their variety names. LS stands for Legend Seeds. Zero, zero is the maturity rating, so z if it's uh, just a, a zero, a single zero, that's later than a zero, zero, and a zero, zero, zero is extremely early. And then the next number is a modifier of, of the, the maturity. So LS0036, was later by about four or five days, in theory, than the LS0028. And these ratings are usually in the Grand Forks area in, in, in North Dakota. So with the Thunder Seed varieties, what they'll do is they have the 29002, or TH29002. The two stands for, it's around a pretty one soybean, which means it's on its way out. The next number is the year that it was re released first released, so it was first available in 2009. The zero, zero means it's in the very early group, and the two means it is, once again, nice and early. 